Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sean Purgal. I'm an osteopathic manual practitioner and today I want to give you a brief introduction to National Academy of Osteopathy. Before I get into that, I want to congratulate you. If you're watching this video, most likely you are interested in pursuing manual osteopathy as a career and as a profession. It's an amazing profession. You would love manual osteopathy. It does wonders in treating chronic pain and the financial and emotional satisfaction of this profession is unheard of in any other health profession. I made a video called uh, why you should choose manual osteopathy as a profession. You can watch that. It gives you some information about the benefits of becoming a manual osteopath. I also made uh, three or four videos about why you should choose National Academy of Osteopathy uh, uh, for your osteopathic education. Please watch those as well. Those gives you info, uh, uh, the reasons why most uh, students choose NAO. The number one reason is obviously my business lectures. We graduate successful manual osteopaths because of the 200 business lectures that I have on everything dealing with tax planning, asset pro protection, how to bring new clients in, uh, tons of different marketing ideas, asset protection, uh, even uh, working on the brain to improving uh, your brain and uh, many many other subjects those are the reason actually many manual osteopaths from other schools they register with us just to learn those uh, business lectures to give you an example the average income for manual osteopaths in canada is ninety thousand dollar my students take uh, every year hundred fifty thousand uh, dollar in gross income uh, so those business lectures are what made us the number one provider of manual osteopathic education in the world. I give you more information about those in other videos, but now I want to speak to you about what programs we offer at NAO and a little bit about how NAO was formed. I founded NAO on June 6, 2010. I initially made it so I can create uh, manual osteopaths uh, so they can work in my clinics at one point I had up to 58 clinics we, it, they were multidisciplinary clinics offering chiropractic physiotherapy massage therapy manual osteopathy uh, psychotherapy rehab and so on and uh, I always had trouble finding manual osteopaths for my clinics uh, because there were uh, not so many of them in Ontario at that time I was in Salzburg Austria with a loved one and uh, we were planning to go outside the hotel for a walk. We came out, we saw it's raining. She went back to the hotel to get uh, an umbrella and I walked a little bit uh, waiting for her. Uh, and I was standing somewhere and I looked behind me and it, while I was thinking about this problem that I have in Canada uh, with my clinics, and I saw a name of a lady, so-and-so osteopath. And something clicked in my mind and I, uh, understood that if I cannot find manual osteopaths, I can make a school, I can get the students in and train them and hire them as manual osteopaths. So that's what, when I came to Canada, I did that. I registered National Academy of Osteopathy. I got the students of first class, was about 20 students. The tuition at that time was $20,000 and the program was four months for everybody. We were offering at that time only campus-based program. A day before the school starts, I had a manual osteopath teacher that I hired. It took me a long time to find one. He was a new immigrant and uh, uh, the day before class start, he came and asked for five times more salary. Can you imagine that? And he was already getting paid good money. So I told him no. I fired him and he was shocked. He said, but you have a class tomorrow. You have 20 students, that's $400,000 you will lose. I said, I would rather burn the school and lose all the students and lose $400,000, but I will not give you $1. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, you know, he said, okay, how about three times more? I said, no, you don't understand. It's unethical what you're doing. It's blackmail and you're unprofessional. This is not the way to do business. Um, you have to uh, negotiate salary before you get hired, not after, before you, the day, of, uh, day before the start of your work. So I called my dad. May he rest in peace. He passed away seven years ago. I love him. I still speak with him. Uh, every day in my heart he was a teacher very good teacher until he, uh, the day he died he was teaching I still get email from many people around the world to, uh, asking me if I am his son and when I say yes they tell me so many nice stories about him he created the love of books in me since I was a kid and um, I feel that I, I am so good in business and I'm so creative because of all the books I read thanks to him uh, and I recommend everybody always my students I recommend they have to read all the time and research actually shows those who read in their fields they become in the top 10% of their profession within five years but those uh, I will teach you all that in my business lectures uh, so my dad said, why don't you teach yourself? You studied osteopathy as well as chiropractic and you know about all the techniques. Why don't you do it? And I said, no, dad, I'm a business person. I'm not a teacher. My job is a business. I'm making uh, millions of dollars in my clinics. I don't want to, uh, you know, focus on teaching. He said, do it for me. Just do it one semester. If you don't like it, don't do it again. And hire with, you will have six months to hire another teacher. And so I said, okay, I had the list of the techniques this man also was planning to teach and I go over it the next day I go and I teach and uh, when I finished teaching everybody stood up and did a standing ovation for me and I was shocked and I understood that I'm a good teacher and I enjoyed teaching. It was fun and uh, that changed my life. I sold all my clinics. I got rid of them. I focused solely on osteopathy. I fell in love with osteopathy. I fell in love with teaching. That's why I love NAO so much. National Academy of Osteopathy is like my baby. I have so many businesses, but I love NAO the most of them all. It's my number one baby. It's the one who introduced me to teaching. It's the baby that made me teacher. NAO is always here. So after NAO, I, uh, I, I loved Asobody so much that I decided to expand the profession. Two years later, in 2012, I opened National University of Medical Sciences in Madrid, Spain, which is the largest provider of uh, transitional doctor of physical therapy in the world. Uh, even just in Iran, we had 400 uh, physiotherapists as the students who became doctors through our DPT program. Then in 2016, I opened National University of Medical Sciences in Naples, Florida. I am in Naples, Florida. I love it. It's the most beautiful town in the United States. Uh, NOMS USA is the first and only manual osteopathy university in the United States. Over 10 years, lawyers told me that uh, I cannot open a, uh, a Canadian cannot own a university in the US, but I proved them wrong. And uh, this is when I told you I'm very creative in business because of all the books I read, I always find a solution for all the problems that face my businesses. And this is one of the things I teach my students. I make them problem solvers and people who solve problems, they are always in demand and any business they do, they can excel in it. And that is why my graduates are so successful in business. They're problem solvers, they're fixers, they can uh, the, any problems you put they can fix it we came along a lot uh, we at NAON offer now a DOMP program which is, stands for Diploma in Osteopathic Manual Practice it's a purely Canadian title and but it's not ours the first college of osteopathy in Canada they were offering this but they didn't uh, unfortunately, they didn't copyright it, so a lot of other schools who were not accredited, who were fake schools, uh, who just get, take money and issue uh, uh, diplomas, they were using the DOMP. So I got it copyrighted, 
not the National Academy of Arts, but it has the copyright to N uh, DOMP. And through that, I, uh, I also created a union, the first osteopathic trade union in the, in the world, uh, the Canadian Union of Osteopathic Manual Practitioners. And through that, with our school, we went against all these fake schools, all the fake manual osteopaths. We closed them down. I couldn't, I could go against the ones who were using the OMP, but those fake manual osteopaths, uh, some of them using another degrees, I couldn't. So this union works, worked for me like a regulatory college uh, because anybody jeopardizes business of a union uh, member, the union can go against that person or entity. So the union was a tool for me to go against all these fake schools and fake manual osteopaths. We closed them all. The profession is clean now. It's clean. And that is why uh, at that 10 years ago, barely any uh, osteopathy insurance existed. Uh, insurance companies, uh, just a few of them covered manual osteopathy care. And now most of them cover manual osteopathy care provided by uh, uh, by our alumni. Uh, this is the benefit of uh, working for the profession. As I said, uh, the first class we offered only campus-based program. Then I found out that it's impossible to expand the profession worldwide through campus space. Many people out internationally do not have the budget, the money, or they're not able to get the visa to come to Canada and study osteopathy. So what I did, uh, again, I became creative and I found a solution for that. I started to teach uh, on osteopathy through online education. I made another video you can uh, watch. It's about online education. If it's titled, can you teach osteopathy through online education? And I will explain in that video why we can even US Department of Education said that those who study online after a week have more skilled are more skilled than the ones who study in campus but watch that video to understand about online education uh, through online education we expanded osteopathy to 72 countries and now in places like alaska hawaii uh, puerto rico um, Yukon, Nunavut, Northwest Territory, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, Island of Macau, Island of Brunei, uh, Mauritania, Tanzania, Morocco, uh, Bermuda, Jamaica, and so many other places that they didn't have manual osteopathy. Manual osteopathy, there. now they do. It is because of uh, our schools. And this is the proverb online online education that we were able to expand osteopathy after the four months we uh, very soon we started to offer the the DOMP program six months and then we increased it to what is now which is 12 months a total of 2200 education our campus space and online DOMP program they are the same in courses uh, and materials uh, but the campus space they have access to four months of clinical internship at our teaching clinic at the York University Heights and Kills and Seals area. Uh, while online, un uneducated uh, online students don't have the, they cannot practice in our teaching clinic, but those, if they're Canadian, two weeks of mandatory classes at our campus is available for them it's mandatory it is not optional for international students is optional they can come to a, uh, to NAO's campus in York University Heights to take these two weeks if they wish but it's not mandatory for them for those who wish to take clinical internship for online graduated students we have we offer something called NAO bridge program clinical internship residency program uh, they can take this and we connect them with selected approved NAO clinicians uh, across Canada they, they will do some training inside inside uh, those clinics and uh, to get some practical hands-on hands-on cl uh, clinic in a clinical setting if they wish so but that is not mandatory it's optional it's something uh, extra if they they wish to to do uh, 
the tuition right now for uh, so after after the, when our program was twenty thousand dollar, then we when we started to offer the online program, we lowered the tuition on purpose to four thousand five hundred below our cost. If we were losing money, but uh, we wanted to have increased number in Canada and elsewhere. We wanted to expand the profession and we wanted to to make sure most of the manual osteopaths in Canada are, are alumni because true number comes power. Now uh, we are the majority shareholder in manual osteopathy professions. Most of the manual osteopaths in uh, in Canadian uh, English speaking Canadian provinces are our alumni so any uh, and we are working toward regulation which we needed at least a thousand man on osteopaths in Ontario for us to be able to do so uh, so we needed number if we wanted to regulate the profession we had to get the number and by uh, keeping the tuition low by offering extreme value uh, offering 200 business lectures making sure the uh, manual osteopaths we graduate become wealthy and successful and rich that would attract a lot of their family and friends and relatives which worked beautifully for us we have so many couples as the students we have so many uh, father and sons father and daughters mother and daughters uh, families. We even have a family, uh, Dr. Hossein Khorami, who also teaches for us. He studied in the class with his wife. His wife was an optometrist from uh, Iran, uh, and uh, she studied. And uh, their daughter uh, was a kinesiologist. All three of them together came and became manual osteopaths. We hired Dr. Khorami. He, uh, he teaches uh, anatomy in our school and uh, osteopathy techniques. So. Uh, to, make, to, to attract all these families, you had to make sure uh, they become wealthy and that's why the business lectures came in handy. So we were losing money, but we wanted to make sure we, we have alumni everywhere because we wanted to be the majority shareholder and we, we achieved that. After that, there came a point we could no longer afford to do this. So I, I was a multimillionaire before uh, osteopathy but I had a limited amount of money and I couldn't just spend spend money uh, without an end in sight so we increased the tuition now uh, the tuition for uh, high school graduates and those without prior health education is uh, 14,850 about 15,000 dollar plus the two weeks practical is 2,400 on top of that um, we are the only school that hire high school graduates, the only accredited school of osteopathy in Canada. Uh, and uh, because we believe high school graduates are, are what will expand the osteopathy profession worldwide. Uh, health professionals, they're nice too, but, um, uh, but uh, you know, they are limited. My, uh, high school graduates, there are many of them and we can attract them a lot more by providing a good income to them. Now, 50, when we started, 100% of our alumni were health professionals. Now, 56% of uh, our alumni are high school graduates. And we provide great, they provide great service. Actually, we are the only osteopathy school in Canada who received the award from the then Min, uh, Ontario Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities, Dr. Reza Moridi, who's a good friend of mine. He sent us an award thanking National Academy of Osteopathy for providing excellence in osteopathic education and improving the health of the society in Ontario. We are the only uh, school who got that award because we are the best. We are the leader in osteopathic education in Canada and government, politicians and uh, people notice that as well. This award is one reason that it shows the quality of our education. So, we offered the DOMP program and it is one year. However, uh, as I said, high school graduates can join for them is one year. Those with prior health education, like massage therapists, medical doctors, uh, physiotherapists, kinesiologists, and so on, uh, chiropractors. We have a lot of chiropractors uh, uh, 
uh, when they were delisted from prescribing and dispensing orthotics, uh, just in one year from Quebec, 50 chiropractors applied to become manual osteopaths. Uh, we have tons of manual uh, chiropractors uh, as, uh, um, uh, as a students, and some of them wrote really beautiful testimonials, which you can read it in our website, nationalacademyosteopathy.com. So for those uh, with prior health education, our DOMP program is six months. And the tuition is $9,850, about $10,000. Uh, and uh, again, as I said, uh, plus the, those two weeks of mandatory practical training, which is 2400 If they are in Canada, they must take it. Doesn't matter who they are, I always get like chiropractors uh, upset that they say, oh, I studied four years of manual therapy. I understand, but those were not osteopathic techniques. Uh, the two weeks is mandatory. We have to do it to make sure that they're providing good, uh, good, um, good techniques, and they they learn firsthand, and we can uh, tune up their techniques. Uh, NAO worked hard. It changed the profession, it elevated the profession. Last year in 2019, we were able finally to register National Academy of Osteopathy as a non-profit school in Canada. We are the only school of osteopathy in Canada that is non-profit. What does that mean? That means that I as an owner cannot take even one dollar as profit from this school. All the profit it makes has to be spent for osteopathy. What benefit it has for us, the Canadian government will not charge us tax up to a limit. After that limit, if our, if our income surpasses that limit, then we pay a smaller tax than other corporations. This is a way for Canada, Canada to encourage research and development and the, the schools to invest in the profession. What does that mean to you? It means that we are able to support you like no other school can. For example, we offer many free seminars to our alumni. Other schools, they do not do that. I created Osteopathy Chronic Pain Clinics of Canada in September 2017. From one clinic in Toronto, we now have 329 clinics in 30 countries and this week we are actually uh, opening two new ones in South Africa, our first there, and we only hire our own students. And all the money our students make, 100% of it, is given back to them. We don't take even one dollar from their money. All the expenses of running this clinic, all the it's staff advertising, everything is covered by, guess who? National Academy of Osteopathy. That's the benefit of loving the profession and that's the benefit of being non-profit. Osteopathy Chronic Pain Clinics of Canada is registered as a non-profit school and NAO supporting it. Another benefit, Canadian Union of Osteopathic Manual Practitioners. All my alumni can join it for free. All other unions charge one to three percent of the paycheck of their members, not us. This union works for free. All its expenses, all its run operational expenses is paid by, guess who? National Academy of Osteopathy. This is the benefits. This is what we do for osteopathy. That's how we take care of our graduates, the students and alumni. Nobody does that in the osteopathy profession. They all have schools to make money, to have an income for life. I am a multimillionaire before osteopathy and I don't need money from osteopathy. I love osteopathy, it's my passion and I'm doing it for the profession. I don't get any salary, zero, not even one dollar. And even before I wasn't getting it, before it was, now it's illegal for me to take the profit out, but before when the NAO wasn't non-profit, I did not even take money. Sometimes it paid me 
for my expenses of like uh, some expenses uh, things that I bought for the school but I never took income for myself and th these are the benefits what, uh, the union we used to clean the profession now it's used to make income for our students like you how because we are a union we have solidarity with other unions they look at us as their brothers and sisters if they need osteopathic care they use our services my clinic OCPCC is the preferred provider of manual osteopathic care to union workers in Canada. We are the largest provider of manual osteopathic care in Canada and more, we see more union workers than any others in Canada. These are the benefits we do. Why? Because why we grow so much, why we became the largest school of osteopathy in the world because we graduate successful manual osteopaths we make sure we make money for them nobody else does that a lot of schools their support finish with the graduation my support is for life i constantly think about how to improve the lives of my students how to make more money for them how to bring more clients for them what to do in the profession so they benefit this is what makes us di different this is uh, why we are so unique success is not an accident success is not an accident you have to work at it you have to get up your gluteus maximus do some work and activity and that's what we do I don't need money I don't need to work and I still every day I read I work to improve the lives of my students and others and this is what I teach my students that's why they are so good that's why so many of them within months get fully booked clinics it is unheard of in any other business in other any other healthcare the other healthcare they have to work five years to have a average clinic but not all the students all the students many of them get fully booked really really fast I have students like Dr. Lisa Egbuga in downtown Toronto charging $275 an hour. Last year in 2019, she, she was chosen by Toronto Star newspaper, the largest newspaper in Canada, as the number one manual osteopath in Canada. Actually, the top 10 candidates, three of them, the, the top three, they were my students because they are good at what they do. I have Dr. Uh, Thomas Andrew in Bermuda, who has uh, who works in uh, one of our clinic inside a five star luxury resort and he's charging three hundred dollars per hour i have uh, kenny wong uh, who works in uh, who is a physiotherapist and an osteopath in malaysia my student and he's charging four hundred dollars an hour we have many cases like that i have a students two brothers in brampton who own a million dollar clinic grossing over a million dollars every year I have Dr. Randy Nagir a pastor a priest in Trinidad and Tobago who was doing nat uh, natural health care and now he's offering osteopathy he has two, two of our clinics in Trinidad and Tobago and he just messaged me a week ago saying that in the past two years he he's making over five hundred thousand dollars per year these are the things uh, we do that is how we attract other students without much advertising without uh, much paid advertising most of our students are referred by other students it is the word of mouth that brings so many students to us I give you one example uh, there was the uh, oh mosquito wow mosquitoes everywhere in Florida uh, I have this student and she was she was a ex, uh, she was a member of Canada Canada's uh, national women's soccer team very good girl she studied online she she has our clinic in uh, Montreal and now she's expanding to other locations in Toronto she's planning to open in Naples and other locations she treated this patient Mark McNeil he was a massage therapist he saw five osteopaths uh, uh, in Quebec who were not my students and 
his shoulder pain didn't get better. He saw Anne and in one visit his shoulder pain was gone. He was so shocked that uh, he investigated NAO, found out more about NAO, he uh, applied, he became a manual osteopath. Now he, uh, he works in uh, one of our OCPC clinics in Montreal. Uh, these are the powers of uh, how we teach. We modified the European style osteopathy. We made it more suitable to Canada. We removed dangerous techniques. We uh, removed techniques that can cause trouble for manual osteopaths. We improved uh, the way the techniques are performed to make uh, to uh, decrease the chance of uh, injury for manual osteopaths. For example, uh, in uh, European style osteopathy, they do the technique bending down, which the can uh, hurt the back, but we we do uh, with uh, with uh, we adjust the height by our uh, uh, our knees, not the back. So let me see if I can show you. For example, here, like this, we can do, and we I can adjust the height by going more down like this, or going more up like that. This is like how we can uh, modify the modify the, the techniques uh, this is just a uh, one example uh, or some techniques for example in in the european cell they that on the spinous process they use them here uh, and it can be sometimes painful for the patient we ask the we modified it we use it like this make a cup so the spinous process gets inside here and this work this uh, muscles work as a ca ca caution uh, to protect the spinous process. We do so many things like that. We constantly think. We don't have a blind faith in osteopathy that just because somebody did something 140 years ago, that's uh, how we have to do it. We do not teach traditional osteopathy. We modify things to fit uh, the current system. That is why in 10 years, not even one of our students did anything bad. Not, there is not even one case of malpractice, sexual abuse allegation, uh, damaging the patients or insurance fraud against any of our students. While there are a number of cases like that, it's all belong to the uh, students of other, other colleges, not even one, one with us. This is because we also teach a lot of jurisprudence cases every day we focus on. This is what we do. We do our best to elevate the profession and to help our students and to ensure patients have access to, to this beautiful, beautiful healthcare. I'm grateful to God. Thank you, God. I'm grateful that uh, God provided me this opportunity to expand uh, the profession to spread my knowledge to help my alumni to have a wealthier better lifestyle uh, and um, i'm really grateful as a teacher i could not ask for anything better uh, it's just uh, so many so many, you know it's such a great feeling that uh, i get when i my students become successful i have this student debbie uh, who was a receptionist and he, she became manual osteopath and uh, she became she had a good income and she took uh, her boyfriend to a five-star luxury resort in Caribbean and she emailed me she thanking me for manual osteopathic education I provide to her and she said something that really really stuck to my heart she said Dr. Purgal money does buy happiness and research has shown that um, money if used to buy experiences such as travel indeed buy happiness money will help you live longer money will ensure uh, you have a better quality of life uh, there's less chance of disease less, less chance of uh, divorce uh, for people who are wealthy uh, and your family benefits your family your, your, your family yourself your country benefits uh, through more taxes that you pay. Uh, your country men and women benefit by your uh, increased purchasing power. Everybody benefits. Osteopathy benefits. People benefits because uh, when you get wealthy, others be, uh, get attracted to manual osteopathy, and there'll be access to more 
patience for this beautiful wonderful care that's about it i wanted to make this a short video but whenever i talk about osteopathy and nao i get so excited i can't stop i can talk for hours about nao and osteopathy but please choose nao for your osteopathic education please if you don't still it's fine but please choose osteopathy as your career it's a wonderful profession uh, all the uh, Accredited osteopathy schools in Canada and elsewhere they offer beautiful education. Their education is good. Our education is better uh, because we modify things and we uh, we teach business lectures, but they still uh, provide good education for you, uh, and you can still have a good income. Ninety thousand dollar per year is amazing income. You don't have to become my students. I love for you to become my students but please choose osteopathy over all other professions you will not be sorry that you've done that we have 97 percent patient loyalty rate and uh, manual osteopaths have 98 percent job satisfaction rate in both cases more than all other 25 healthcare professions in canada that's it for today you enjoy wherever you are i'm blessed that i can uh, my dream was always to live where i can see palm trees um, Bougainvillea. Now I live in Panama uh, and uh, I'm grateful for that but I'm still in Canada a lot. I come uh, stay there uh, five six months every year uh, but uh, I live in Panama and uh, my job brings me to Spain and Naples enough time to enjoy all this. Uh, it's a really beautiful life. I'm grateful that God allowed me to see palm trees. It was my dream always to have palm trees and bougainvillea in my backyard now i leave a, a waterfront on the beach in panama monday to friday on the weekend i am uh, i go 30 minutes away on top of mountains 3000 feet i do yoga there i do taekwondo and meditation there is no human beings there no tv no radio just uh, my silence retreat i am grateful to god i am blessed with an abundant life and I want to share this with you. I want you to understand I was homeless. I slept in shelters when I came to Canada 34 years ago uh, as a refugee. I was washing dishes for $3.75 an hour and now I'm a multimillionaire and I'm giving all this knowledge to you. I'm not holding anything back. Nobody teaches this because they don't want to create competition for themselves. We don't do that. We teach everything we know about business and authority to you. We don't hold anything back. We graduate successful manual osteopaths. And I hope you become one of our students. Have a nice day. Until next time. Bye for now. God bless. Namaste.